I'll do a simple animation of Man Candy's arm to illustrate uh, how to animate the arms in FK and Man Candy, and also to show uh, some things we can do with those little extra controls for bending uh, that can do rubber hose animation in some cases. So let's do a really simple animation here where Man Candy just moves his hand up and down. Before we start, let's get Man Candy in a slightly more neutral pose than this one. Um, so let's say we're going to animate this arm here, Man Candy's left arm. I make sure that I have uh, auto keyframing turned on, clicking the record button here in the timeline. And I'm going to start moving things as I see fit. You can see that Blender created a new action. If I hit the home key here, we can see the new channel it created for the head. So since we're going to move this arm, we're just going to have Man Candy look at his own arm. We're just going to work from camera viewpoint for this particular animation. So we'll have his head sort of looking at his arm. Maybe have his neck a little bit forward. And we'll take this arm down since he's not going to be animating it. Relax his shoulder. Maybe relax it backwards a little bit. Maybe spin his hand like that. Go down. Like that. Maybe keep his fingers a little bend. See how nice it is that you can actually just grab all the fingers. You can lasso select them if you want and just animate them together. Since they all pivot roughly in the same area, it's fairly easy to just get that working. And Let's, since his arm is going to be out a lot, we'll lean him over this way a little bit. Pivot this foot like so. We'll take this foot out. Something like that. Just get his posture a little bit nicer. There we go. So that's a good start. So that's our initial pose here for his uh, for his body. And I'll save this as arm animation blend. Okay. So maybe it would be nicer if he will we'll start with his arm down actually for the animation and then we'll continue it up. So I'll drop the shoulder a little bit too. And I just move this a bit to key it. And the same with the hand. There we go. Now there's something interesting gonna go on in this tutorial is that I'm not going to really pay attention to where the, the joints are supposed to bend. Now we all know that with our elbow joint it only has one degree of freedom in real life and that it bends um, only along that axis in that direction and that you can't really bend it any other way. But oftentimes in animation, especially in Toonie animation, we can violate those rules to get better motion. So with that caveat, sort of uh, in advance, we'll go ahead and look at the rest of this. We'll call this arm swing. So all I'm going to do in this animation is have, is have Man Candy move his arm up and then down. And let's say we do like an 18 frame animation or so, like so. And I'm not really going to animate the rest of his body, I'm just going to animate his his arm 
and then I'll do a pass and animate his fingers, but we won't actually animate the rest of the body. So it'll look a little bit weird at the end because Man Candy's arm will be moving with a completely rigid body, uh, but this is just a tutorial on animating the arm, not really a full animation. So let's say we wanted Man Candy to swing his arm up and down. So we would go to our, let's see, roughly halfway. And we'd say, oh yeah, well, his arm goes up here, like so. And of course, his shoulder has to lift up. In Man Candy's case, the shoulder is independent, and we can key these two. You can key available if they already have keys, like so. And then it goes down again, right? I mean, that's quite simple. So let's say we may over here. And there we go. And there we go. Let's see how it looks. Wow. That looks pretty robotic and pretty boring. So the first thing to note whenever you're animating something from pose to pose is that things don't really move at the same speed. So as his arm moves up, you'd expect his hand to kind of trail the motion. So his hand would be trailing over here quite a bit. And maybe his and here's where I said I won't pay attention to these joint things is if I just let it do that. So now the arm kind of goes up a little bit more flexibly, but it's going down pretty badly. And that's because at the top, even as the upper arm is going down, the um, the uh, the forearm and the hand should be trailing again. So we're actually going to do this super exaggerated thing here. And then I'll make this go down a little bit slower here. I'll speed up this. So let's have a look at that now. So now you'll notice at the top, there's this pose and this pose in which the hand is kind of crossing each other, like making an X. And that'll give us so already we have a little bit more life in this. And so the next step is just to keep on breaking down this motion to get the extra life kind of in it. So like here, the forearm isn't too bent, but like maybe here it's really trailing, like that. And the hand shouldn't really start from a bent position here, but it should end up bent pretty quickly. So maybe it starts from a normal position here, and then sort of bends here to keep the fingers kind of in the same place. And I don't think it's bent enough here, like so. It's got a little bit more life to it now. And so the basic key here is that not everything's moving at the same time. So indeed, as the upper arm is moving, you know, forward in the arc, the hand and the forearm trail it and go backwards. And that's sometimes referred to as breaking the joints. And I'm not talking about the fact that I'm bending this the wrong way. I'm talking about the fact that the joints are moving at different um different speeds, they're not moving the same way even though they're going to end up in the same place. Now as the, the form starts to move backwards, the momentum on these two joints is still carrying them in that direction. And so here I might even increase that to keep this in the arc. And then 
when you hit the bottom here with the four upper arm I'd expect that the upper arm here would trail it perhaps by a bit and the forearm and the hand when you hit probably should still be pointing backwards like that and then kind of flop let's see how that looks and probably settle over here doing a little bounce at the end basically now let's pay attention to the shoulder the shoulder is going to lead a little bit so in fact I'm going to make the shoulder go a little bit higher here at this point as it pulls the upper arm up, arm up so it goes up fastest because the shoulder is kind of originating this motion and then kind of pushing everything down and then recovering at the end so that's looking fairly nice and floppy so now we have a lot more flop a lot more smoothness into it um, we can also do a trick here if you click on the hand go into armature visualization right here next to armature in this in this panel and the edit buttons for the armature and click on calculate paths or we can simply hit W and calculate paths here we can see the path that the hand is taking so here it's going up and notice here it's kind of not looking nice enough it's not really in a nice arc anymore what I'm going to do here is lift this a little bit and bend this a little bit more and then W recalculate the paths and maybe I like this nicer then as it does the um, as it does the reverse the arc is broken a little bit as it snaps back but then it should come down smoothly and I can also say hmm it's not quite in arc here so I'll just do this and we'll get the fingers to do the rest of the way here so it kind of keeps it on the arc more or less so that's kind of nice so we have the snap here at the top as the momentum is reversing and we have nice arcs throughout the motion and if we they kind of okay. now to make that even look nicer we can turn on the finger controls right here and let's keep the fingers also animating in the same nice way so we'll start out with the fingers we'll just maybe put it in a slightly more neutral position to begin with so the fingers are like this maybe and then as it's going up here maybe here I'll pay attention that the fingers are still sort of on the arc of the motion more or less kind of pointing to where they started and when we start out we can really kind of enhance that by having the fingers point to where they um, 
were at the beginning, so they're sort of dragging out as they go. Just moved a little bit off here. So here, as the hand is doing its snap, we can really help that by having the fingers really roll in. So the hand always makes makes a fist here at the top because they're sort of on this really tight. You can think of that snap as being on a really tight curve. So we can just really kind of accentuate that. Make sure it doesn't happen too early. I'll move this keyframe. I'll move it bit here. So here we have the thing and then here at the end the, the fingers are going to flop out and reverse direction. So I'll scale the bone to give them a little bit more of a thing and what would be fun here is if we could spread that out over the three fingers. So I'll, I'll have the um, I'll have a little a nice little spread here as they flop out. And then you can kind of rotate them in the direction. So here's the flop. And then here I'll just keep them in line more or less with the arc of the motion. And I'll keep this one, thumb as well. And then as we come to the bottom, I'll sort of keep that going more and I'll close them up a little bit. Looks like I didn't do the pointer here. There we go. And then here we'll have it trail a little bit. Finally, a little overshoot. Scale that. Won't do it too extreme here, just a little bit. And then we'll let it settle maybe over here just a tiny bit. There you go, move one of them out a little bit more. So, let's have a look at that. And I'm not really liking how things look like here. I think the fist should be here too. So I'm going to move that key like this. And I'm going to delay the sort of flopping out one key like that. Let's see how that looks. That's much better. And so here we have. So we've broken a little bit of rules in a way, in terms of real physical people, but we haven't really broken any animation rules. And we've kept the limb straight. And you notice it looks really flexible even though we have completely straight limbs. Now Man Candy being a cartoony rig allows us to go even a step further than that by keeping the curve of the hand arced throughout all those poses in the middle. And the way we do that is if we turn on the armature layer. And let's just look at the arm because the fingers are done right now. Well, we, first of all, we want to have him start out straight here. So I'll just key these locations so they don't move any. any. And as his hand's going out like this, we could 
sort of bend the arm in that arc. Before we even start, I'm going to make sure that none of these are locked. See, by default, I had these controls locked on certain axes, like you couldn't move them on X. So just go through them and make sure all their location locks are cleared because you're going to animate them from camera perspective in this case. And you can bend and you can bend. You can use this guy to sort of smooth the bend a little bit. So now this thing is really getting bent and we can kind of accentuate the lead that the shoulder has by going more in line with it over here. Kind of trail this one behind. Keep that. And then as we get to here, that becomes a little excessive, so we'll pull it down like that. Maybe this one has started to go. Like that. And this can stay roughly here. Now the really the one we really need to adjust is this reversal pose, of course. So this goes this way, this goes this way. And this seems like he wants to get pulled out a little bit. Like so. And I might kind of like this gun reversing while this one is going up like that, making this kind of a S shape. And here we just kind of tweak it. This is already straight now while this is still bent. Notice this part is almost in its final position already. Oops upper arm here and obviously it's not going to go way back so we'll just tweak until we like it a little bend here and then here it's going to be straight so we just hit these alt G and then I location Let's see how that looks you might have to tweak it no, it's really okay so now we've transformed Man Candy's arm from a rigid bunch of bones with muscle on them to a totally rubber hosey animation. And that concludes this arm animation tutorial. It would look a lot more natural, of course, if I had animated Man Candy's body as well, but that would be a much longer tutorial than this.